Hi, CrashMat104, the virtual being here, and I would like to inform you about today's topic, which is the arrow spray. It's a bad weapon. But why exactly? Let's start at the most basic level and work our way up. So, which class is the arrow spray in? It's a shooter. Being that in this class isn't to a weapon's detriment, and it often means that a weapon is simpler to understand, but not lacking in strategy. Good weapons in the shooter class include the Splattershot, the Jet Squelcher, and the Enzap. The class of the Aero Spray is supportive, and this is where its first downfall appears. The Aero Spray is good for subspam, although that isn't exactly special as 90% of support weapons are good for subspam. It's also good for turfing, as most support weapons are, like the Splattershot Junior, Enzap, and Cancer Undercover Brella. However, while support weapons aren't really often able to go for kills, they can usually defend themselves. This the Aerospray cannot do. The Enzap has good range and can backtrack, watch my Enzap guide to learn about backtracking, to kill enemies before they get close. The Cancer Undercover can torpedo and then assault to overwhelm the opponent. The Aerospray needs 5 shots to kill. 5 shots! I believe that's the highest shots to kill in the game. When you equate that with the Aerospray's accuracy of 50% chance for the shot to go straight after a second of shooting, even when your reticle is on the opponent for 100% of the time, if you miss for longer than a second and then hit, you will need 10 shots to kill on average, because, again on average, 5 shots of the 10 you fired will miss. In this time, you can far too easily be killed, especially when you combine that with the fact that your reticle will also not always be on your opponent. This is the main problem with the Aerospray. I cannot think of a worse weapon for killing opponents. Let's look over the three kits of the Aerospray. So, what I would first think of the Aerospray having to maximise its power is a spammable sub. The MG has this in its suction bombs and the PG in its burst bombs. Kinda. Burst bombs are spammable, but not quite as effective, and I would say burst bombs are better for measured use. The RG, however, has Sprinkler. I actually quite enjoy Sprinkler and think it's not as bad as some people believe it is. However, it is not the sub-weapon I would think of when I hear the word Aerospray. The Aerospray should be spending 90% of its time inking away from the front lines, and when you're not directly in the fight, then Sprinklers are pretty useless because they can chew more ink and don't cover that much turf. So, 2 out of 3 kits have a not bad sub-weapon and one has a good one. But the specials are not so great. I think the best subs to work with the Aerospray would be subs you can use any time and still get use out of, like Ink Armor. However, the MG has Curling Bomb Launcher, the RG has Bula, and the PG has Booyah Bomb. This automatically makes the MG and RG useless in my opinion. Curling Bomb Launcher is a sub you use offensively, and that's not what the Aerospray should be doing. It's also a sub-weapon that you use in a specific situation when it becomes useful, which is a waste of the Aerospray's ability to gain its special every few seconds. Bula is a sub you can use in two ways, offensively and to save your butt. Using it offensively is bad because the Aerospray is bad at playing offensively, and using it to save your butt is bad because it wastes the potential of the Aerospray to use its special really often. The PG's Booyah Bomb isn't terrible, but it isn't great either. Booyah Bomb is best used in a specific situation, which is bad for the reason I mentioned a few seconds ago, but it can be used whenever, it's just not going to have much of an effect. This variant wasn't too bad for special spam when the Booyah Bomb came out, because nobody knew how to escape it, but it's now pretty useless because everyone knows how to just run away and come back in a few seconds. So for kits, I would say there's one average one and two bad ones. Not great compared to some other weapons like the Undercover Brella, Splattershot, and Enzap. And then, the final problem that I can think of anyway. The fact that there is another weapon that is pretty much the same, but better. The Splattershot Junior. If we compare the stats of these two weapons, we can see that they're almost the same, but the Splattershot Junior has lower ink consumption, a larger tank, a slightly slower shot speed, made up by larger turf radius per droplet and one less shot to kill, and it's slightly more accurate in all measures of accuracy. So the Splattershot Junior is better for kills, better for subspam, and the same for turfing. Plus it has better kits with Splat Bomb and Ink Armor for subspam and taking advantage of turfing ability, Torpedo and Bubble Blower for defensive tankiness, and Auto Bomb and Ink Storm for the world record for the most subs used in a match. 
This renders the error sprite obsolete. It also renders me obsolete, and so from now on, all videos on my channel will be produced by the Splattershot Junior instead of me. Bye!